Hey guys, so I want to share my uh, my week with you. So last week was pretty tough on me. On top of losing my mom just about a month and a half ago, we also marked the one year anniversary of my dad's passing last week as well. So on top of all those things, um, living alone in quarantine with nobody to talk to just intensified feelings of loneliness and discouragement. And there have been a, other situations that have created additional challenges for me physically and financially. So by the end of last week, I was pretty wiped out. I was pretty discouraged and frustrated and really was needing something to dig me out of uh, the rut that I had sort of found myself in. In, Jesus, in Genesis 15, 1, God tells Abram that he himself was Abram's great reward. But the other lesson here that I have uh, learned is that, that I really need to trust God in hope that one day the suffering will be over. I've learned in the last few years how important hope is. Because I think we as Americans don't generally understand this concept of, of suffering. We have pretty comfortable lives and we generally aren't really all that needy. Uh, because I believe that it's only when you're in need that you really understand how much you need hope. Now, we're all in a bit of a situation where we're all suffering. And we can't really interact with people like we used to. Some of us have lost our jobs, and you know we're just forced to trust God through this time as we figure out how to pay our bills, feed ourselves, and continue our relationships. So as we as we try to do all those things, we're also trying to move the kingdom forward as well. It's a huge challenge, and really there's nothing we can do to change our circumstance. So I wanted to share the scripture in 2 Corinthians 4, starting in verse 7. It says, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. Going down to verse 16, it says, Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes on not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternally is eternal. So ultimately, I believe that God is in control of all of this, 100%. The world is struggling right now because they don't understand who God is. But when we stay close to God, we have peace, even despite uncertain and challenging circumstances. I'm learning that I just need to take it a day at a time, maybe even an hour at a time, maybe even minute by minute. So what are you focused on today? Are you focused on the challenges? Or do you have your eyes focused on God and his purpose? These are very trying times, but remember that God is in control of everything. This pandemic didn't slip by him. He knew about this virus long before we ever did. This is our test. This is your test. Will you hope and trust that God will not only deliver you from this time, but that he still loves you and he still wants to give himself to you as your very great reward? Now that's what I call hope. Thanks for listening and have a great week. Love you guys.